so let us get into the next part of the video that is part 3 and starting from question number 14 so let's see the question number 14 in India which one of the following constitutional amendments was widely believed to be enacted to overcome the judicial interpretations of fundamental rights so it is very clearly asking the issue with judicial interpretations of fundamental rights arose because of which of the constitutional amendments so if we see 86th constitutional amendment it added one more constitutional uh, fundamental right that is article it added article 21a and it gave uh, right to elementary education as a fundamental right so there was no issue with judicial interpretation in this amendment and the next one is 42nd constitutional amendment it was enacted during the emergency and uh, it was mostly like there were uh, fundamental duties were added new dpsps were added uh, words like socialist secular and integrity were added to the indian preamble and there were many other uh, changes which were brought in but none of them uh, was regarding the judicial interpretations of fundamental rights so that was also that is also not an answer so uh, next one is 44th constitutional amendment 44th constitutional amendment was uh, overcoming uh, like or undoing the acts which were done by 42nd constitutional amendment act so 44th constitutional amendment act ha also has nothing to do with the judicial interpretations of fundamental rights but only the first amendment act was related to judicial interpretation of fundamental rights uh, it uh, also added three uh, restrictions on freedom of expression like uh, public order and friendly relations with foreign countries they were added uh, in the article 19 and also uh, first constitutional amendment act uh, also restricted the rights uh, in right to property so right to property uh, the amendment was brought to overcome the deficiencies or ills of the fundamental right that is right to property which was in, uh, given by parliament back then but later this right was removed through 44 constitutional amendment act so right to property was the issue the most important issue in first constitutional amendment so answer will be a going to the next one consider the following organizations or bodies in india so let's see what the bodies are national commission for backward classes yes national human rights commission okay national law commission yes national consumer disputes redressal commission okay F how many of the bodies above bodies are constitutional bodies so if we uh, carefully see all these only national commission for backward classes is a constitutional body that too it became a constitutional body very recently earlier this was also a statutory body so this is a constitutional body now nhrc national human rights commission is not a constitutional body as of now it's only a statutory body national law commission is an executive body and national consumer dispute radiation commission is also a statutory body so all these three are not constitutional bodies option is only one so let's look into the option only one will be the answer so a is the answer now uh, question number 16 consider the following statements if the election of president of india is declared void by the supreme court of india all acts done by him or her in performance of duties of office of president before the date of decision become invalid no this is a clear cut statement from the lakshmi kant wherein it's clearly said that even if the election of president of india is declared void the actions done by him or her before that the uh, declaration of voidness of his election will not be considered as void and will not be considered invalid so this statement is wrong going to the next statement election for the post of president Indi of india can be postponed yes it can be postponed on the grounds that some legislative assemblies have been dissolved in dissolved and elections are yet to take place no though it can be postponed but the ground should be different ones like uh, maybe if there is a war or uh, some emergency is going on then that can be postponed but not on the ground that legislative assemblies have been dissolved so this uh, statement is also wrong so first and second statement are wrong when a bill is presented to president of india the constitution prescribes time limit time limit within which he or she has to declare his or her assent so we know about something called pocket veto it's uh, like there's a statement the pockets of indian president are much deeper than the pockets of american president which means that par president of india can withhold his assent to a bill 
without any time limit and this is there is no time limit given in the constitution so this statement is also wrong so, so what will be the answer the answer will be option d none so none of them is correct and it's also uh, it's asking correct ones so none of them is correct going to the next question this is a tricky question and in examination conditions we may get confused with finance bill and money bill so let's look into the question with reference to finance bill and money bill in the indian parliament consider the following statements when the lok sabha transmits finance bill to rajya sabha it can amend or reject the bill yes so here it is asking about particularly about finance bill not money bill and finance bill is similar to any ordinary bill except for two conditions like it ha- it should be introduced only with the assent of president and the second thing is it should be introduced only in lok sabha so these are the only two conditions in which finance bill will be behaving like a money bill otherwise all other things will be same and it can uh, the rajya sabha can amend and reject the bill the rajya sabha has powers regarding financial bill so first statement is correct when the lok sabha transmits money bill to the rajya sabha it cannot amend or reject the bill it can only make recommendations yes here it, they are asking about money bill not finance bill so this statement is also correct now going to the next one in case of disagreement between lok sabha and rajya sabha there is no joint sitting for a money bill yes this statement is correct but a joint sitting becomes necessary for finance bill yes we all know that the finance bill is governed by all ordinary procedure of a ordinary bill but except for two conditions that is it should be introduced only in lok sabha and it should be introduced with the permission of president so apart from that it is governed by the procedure of a ordinary bill so there there is a provision of joint sitting in finance bill so this statement is also correct so what will be the answer answer will be all three are correct so the next question going to the next question consider the following statements once a central government notifies an area as community reserve so what will be the changes that will be happy, uh, taking place the chief wildlife warden of state becomes governing authority of such forest yes this statement is correct and uh, all the community reserves once they are declared community reserves then they the authority will be given to chief wildlife warden hunting is not allowed in such area yes this statement is also correct hunting is no, uh, actually the community reserves are like buffer zones to national parks and wildlife sanctuaries and hunting is not allowed in such area people of such area are allowed to collect non timber forest produce yes because human activities are allowed in such buffer areas and uh, they are uh, they are allowed to collect only non timber forest produce not timber forest produce so this statement is correct and the fourth statement is people of such area are allowed traditional agricultural practices see traditional is a very broad word do not confuse traditional with organic or something uh, good there is uh, there are many things involved in traditional agricultural practices like jhum cultivation shifting cultivation all these practices also come under traditional agricultural practices so this kind of agriculture practices are not allowed in community reserves or uh, community reserves so in this way the fourth statement is wrong only the 1 2 and 3 are correct so the answer will be c only 3 so with this this uh, part is done so like share and subscribe keep watching and uh, do mention in comments if you have any uh, other interpretations to these answers thank you